Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm and this week is National Gardening Week. Erica and I from Erica's Little Welsh Garden thought it would be a great idea to create a collaboration to celebrate National Gardening Week and so today you should find lots of videos all called Homegrown Food Edible Britain National Gardening Week 2019. And for me, uh, growing my own food isn't just about having the freshest, tastiest, most nutritious vegetables I can find. Uh, there's a financial implication as well. Because I don't go out to work in the conventional sense anymore, I actually work here uh, on our homestead and I provide as much food as possible for our family. And about 85% of the food that we eat is grown right here where we live. My video today isn't so much about uh, what I grow or how I grow it. Uh, there are plenty of videos on this channel about that uh, and I'll leave a couple of links above uh, and in the description below uh, for you to explore those. Now if you have a gardening channel and you're UK based and you haven't joined in yet, don't worry there's still plenty of time. Uh, National Gardening Week <laughs> is all week <laughs> so from now the 29th of April uh, through to the 5th of May you can put up uh, your gardening video and just call it Homegrown Food Edible Britain National Gardening Week. In the information below uh, you will find a playlist of all the channels who are involved and I'll keep adding those videos throughout the day uh, and the week. All types of gardeners are joining in uh, with channels large and small and we're all sharing our experience, hints and tips or our reasons for growing our own food. We've been on this site uh, for three and a half years and in that time, well, I have learnt so much about gardening. It is just a, a never ending <laughs> experiment and lessons being learnt and I really love it. And the cat's come to join me. Hello Monty. Hello boy, up you come. <laughs> yes, hello boy. <laughs> So I thought today I'd have a little look back at some of the highs and lows of growing on this site. And it's jolly wet and windy today. And although I'm smiling, uh, I'm smiling because if I don't smile, I'm gonna cry. This should be uh, up here at about six and a half to seven feet high um, and uh, this is where they are. So what I think I'm probably going to do uh, is just harvest as many of these as, as look absolutely ready. It will just come away. There we go. Well, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that. Oh, I don't know I want the earwig to go with it, but I'm really pleased with that. A quick push down and then lift. Do you know, I can see almost no damage on these. These look great. I store my seeds uh, in paper envelopes and as you can see uh, I write what they are and uh, the year that I've collected them. If you've put a fleece over it now's the moment to take it off and leave your parsnips to grow uh, through the season. Uh, so here it is. Um, no, actually, that's the baby one. Here it is. Um, <laughs> a ridiculously huge parsnip. Um, it's probably quite woody. Uh, we're still going to eat it. Uh, I'm going to give it a wash. I'll take it in and weigh it. It's deep. 
<laughs> rich and crumbly and it's moist and look how lovely this is. These are some good sized spuds here. Uh, I think we'll be having jacket potatoes for supper. If you're enjoying this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment or both. And if you haven't done so already, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about gardening on a windy site. So when we bought this place three years ago, uh, this was an open field. Uh, it just had uh, posts and wire to mark out the edges of it. And to add to my collection of extraordinary vegetables, uh, I've just harvested the first uh, jumbo pink banana squash, uh, which is still fairly yellow, but as it ages, uh, it looks more pink. Um, and it's... <laughs> it's huge. Now my guess is um, that this is somewhere between 10 and 13 pounds. Uh, it's it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned today, check out some other videos in the playlist and I also hope you'll join me again next time.